Hello! Welcome to day 8 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Today's challenge is a nature study exercise. We are focusing to draw an object which is a crumbled piece of paper. For the most people this will be one of the most boring challenges. I also used to hate those kind of studies when I was younger, but I really wanted to learn to draw better, so I went through it and learned. Back then I realized that it was not that terrible or boring. It was just difficult and frustrating sometimes. But the more you do, the more you learn. These kind of studies are a very common thing if you are in art class or art school or art course or art universities. Sometimes those studies are also part of a qualifying test if you want to join art universities. But why do they give you something like this as a test? A nature study helps you to focus on contouring, capture shadows and light gradation, help you to see more sharply and learn to read into detail. Art classes give you this as a test to see how your brain works. They don't want you to create perfect pictures, they want to see if you are able to capture things properly. If you are already perfect in art, why should art schools take you? What should they teach you? Art schools take either people with loads of money, so I wouldn't recommend private art schools, because it's like buying yourself a degree, but real art schools or universities take people with a basic level. Um, where they see potential to grow. So if you want to convince the jury, you can show a lot of nature studies in your portfolio. They will see that you are taking serious studies and mostly they love unfinished works like sketches, especially sketchbooks, because they are exciting and thrilling. But it's also important to show your creative works and what you like to create, maybe not manga, Somehow it's a hated topic for whatever reason, I don't really understand it. Because comic is okay, um, but whatever. I guess they are more trying to see the potential you have, to do something peerless and individual. Of course there is no sure formula for success. There can be some art schools who dislike your works, but there can be also schools who love what you do. So don't give up if a school rejects you. I also had a friend who got rejected five times, which are about five years, but she tried it every year again at the same university. And at the end she got accepted with her unique works. And her works are pretty unique, but in a really good way, I really love them. Sometimes you can also find happiness and success in other universities or art schools if you want really to get accepted. But how did I always run off the topic? I mean, I ended up talking about portfolios for art schools. 
Anyways, these are my personal experiences and I don't know if this short information was helpful. There's so much to talk about, but maybe it would be interesting for another video, I don't know. Maybe I'm also talking just bullshit and it's not helpful at all. But well, if you are drawing from life, try to follow and analyze what you are seeing. Start with a rough sketch, work around the edge and try to focus only on the shapes. So you will have a rough counter and won't stuck on all these little details. Just make a loosely sketch, no pressure. The crumbled piece of paper is really not that easy to draw. Because of all these details it has in each crease. But it's a challenge and it can only get better. And by the way, I had my problems as well, so hmm. <laughs> Sometimes look back and forth to see the whole object you are drawing. Because when you are spending too much time looking at your paper, you can't really see what you are supposed to draw. Work around the edge and move inward. Start shading the darkest areas and you can also map the shiny areas with outlines. Well, nature studies or drawing from life seems to be complicated or even boring at first, but I do believe that we are blocking ourselves too often by thinking too much before we even start to draw. Sometimes we need to pause to think how hard something could be if we would do it. Just do it, don't think. Because you can do it. You will be surprised of what you are capable of. If you are open-minded, you can learn pretty easy and learn fast if you are practicing every day. So don't give up and BANZAI! So that's the end of the video. Um, I hope it was a bit motivating for you and really never stop drawing if you really want to draw. Practice every day and don't forget to have fun while drawing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!